Okay, so a common question, and I have this up, uh, this throws a lot of people off, this little G311. It's just this ruling, and um, the, the problem was that in the lead 2.2, they didn't define this, and so it gave people the, op the, the option to kind of uh, make up their own rules, and so they, they just had to come up with something. But what can happen, let's just say, so that we, we don't confuse everybody, let's say we don't have thermal blocks and we have a 60-story building. So that means, so one system per floor would mean 60 systems. And subsequently, that would mean 60 cooling plants. But here's the catch. Trace can only model 20 cooling plants and 20 heating plants. And so we can't even model that. And therefore, what you could do is make an assumption, and this goes back to probably the most important table. I didn't mention that it's the most important table yet. But a table G3.1 is probably the table that you'll reference the most. And it's the very last thing here. It's modeling limitations to the simulation program. If it cannot model a component in the proposed explicitly, though this would carry over to the baseline, you can substitute a thermodynamically similar method. And so in such a case, you'd end up making 20 systems for your 60 floors and trying to group them in, the, uh, in a way such that the most similar floors are grouped together. And typically they would probably be a J.